Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to loop using JavaScript. This video was inspired by a blog post by Shusil Beryl, which is available at the URL shown here. Loops in programming are used to execute the same block of code repeatedly. In JavaScript, there are two different kinds of loops, for loops and while loops. For loops loop through a block of code a specified number of times. While loops execute a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. For loops are useful when you know in advance how many times the code in the loop should run. For loops have three components. The initialization, the condition, and the final expression. Here's an example. In this example, the value of i is first set to zero, and then the value of i is tested against the condition. If the condition is true, the block inside the loop is executed. After the block is executed, the final expression is evaluated. In this case, the final expression increments the value of i. The condition is checked with a new value, and the loop runs again if it's still true. Here's the result of running this loop. The while loop executes as long as a condition is true. Here's the syntax. And here's a simple example. We create a new variable called i and initialize it to a value of 0. And then we test for the value of i being less than or equal to 10. If it is, we execute the code inside of the block. And then we increment the value of i inside of the block. Here's what this does when it's run. The do while loop is a variant of the while loop. The do while loop will always execute a block of code once, and then it will repeat the loop as long as the specified condition is true. Here's an example. The condition in the while statement here checks to see whether i is less than 0. Notice, though, that we initialize i to be equal to 0. So the condition at the outset of this statement isn't true. However, because this is a do while loop, the code block will still run once before the condition is evaluated. There are two special statements that can be used inside loops, break and continue. The break statement will break the loop and continue executing the code that follows after the loop. Here's an example. Here, once i reaches the number 3, the loop will break. The continue statement will break the current loop and continue with the next iteration. For example, let's replace the break with a continue. And then run. Notice that the number 3 was skipped because we broke out of the loop when i was equal to 3 and continued with the next iteration where number was equal to 4. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Schusel for the inspiration. Check out InfoTech's site at the URL shown here for other articles related to IT.